Hi, thank you for joining me today. Today I wanted to give you all a very brief introduction to DRNets uh, or deep reasoning networks. They're becoming popular in machine learning and uh, look very promising uh, in, our, in providing our, uh, more and more abilities to solve uh, uh, complex problems. So DRNets have some things that are um, different when it comes to uh, machine learning. They're usually used in uh, unsupervised settings or minimally supervised settings. Uh, what, one of the things that really sets them apart is we don't need to be using labeled data for training. Um, and the other thing is they use reasoning. So uh, on one side, we don't train um, on data. So we have to compensate for that by using reasoning. Uh, and the way uh, they, we use reasoning is by using the rules pertaining to the particular domain. So uh, the domain information rules are used uh, for reasoning. Uh, in other words, uh, you're able to incorporate explicit reasoning mechanisms into traditional deep neural networks. In a typical DRNet situation, we use the problem structure with prior knowledge. And we, we do this by combining the constraint reasoning along with the stochastic gradient-based neural network optimization. Uh, for, for us to just have a very basic understanding of DRNets, DRNets are nothing but a combination of deep neural networks with a reasoning model. So you have your typical deep neural network, uh, also known as the DNN, and you add to that a reasoning module, and then you get DRNets. This is just kind of a simplistic way of understanding how DRNets work. Uh, you may already be familiar with the use of latent spaces. Uh, we use what is called uh, dimensionality reduction uh, to create data spaces with fewer features. Uh, and this uh, helps with machine learning. This uh, reduced space is called uh, a latent space. Uh, in the case of DRNets, uh, an interpretable structured latent space is very important for us to uh, enable the use of reasoning. Uh, this is, in fact, a key ingredient uh, that gives DRNets uh, the ability to reason about the constraints of the domain from the given input data. The uh, potential for DRNets is uh, very promising. Um, and, and since they allow us to use deep learning in a situation where we, we use only a small amount of data uh, in conjunction with domain rules, we're able to use constraint reasoning. And this allows us to solve complex problems and uh, helps us with um, scientific research as well. The, uh, the area of DRNets is still uh, uh, very much being researched. And so the potential uh, use of DRNets uh, is being explored and looks very promising indeed. I hope you enjoyed this very brief introduction to DRNets. Thank you for watching and you all have a wonderful day. Bye now.